Hello, this is Peter Newman. I'm on the ANSYS student community website and there's a question here where there's information on the topology, to topography I guess, of a reservoir and uh, with great e effort the um, topography has been captured from some database and a solid model has been created uh, and the next objective is to divide this one solid with the known fault lines so that some analysis can be done um, and those fault lines are available in a point um, point curve uh, text file and that can be imported using file uh, of type point curve and the coordinate order has to be Z then X then Y and if you do that you get uh, these sorry if you do that when you're in the correct unit system which means going to file space claim options and setting the units to meters and we will uh, get rid of these curves because they're in millimeters delete there we go and uh, add those curves back in. There they are. <coughs> so those are the fault lines and we want to divide the solid up using those fault lines. Um, you can't divide a solid with uh, a surface that ends short of the boundary. So any, any fault lines that uh, don't go past the end of the boundary need to be extended. Uh, you can divide fault lines uh, using closed curves and you'll see that in later videos but uh, that's all I wanted to show in this video um, and you'll see that this this data for some reason is very difficult to work with in space claim and that's all I'll say for this video there's two more videos coming